This video is on the repair of a cast iron bathtub claws foot foot section. You can see the crack that's running across here uh, and uh, is in need of repair. Here what we will be doing is utilizing the oxyacetylene gas welding process with a cast iron rod to tack this up and complete the repair. You can see how I've used a pair of vice grip pliers to hold it in position long enough to get a couple of tacks on it so that uh, the joint stays nice and tight and I am able to tack it up and uh, at that point I'll be able to take off the vice grip pliers and move on with the repair. We'll speed up the process a little bit here so you don't have to watch the whole thing at real time. As you can see here, I had taken the vice grip pliers off because it was tacked up as I said earlier. I'm moving it around on a bench to get better access to it and I will now complete the oxyacetylene weld both on the outside and on the inside. That way we have uh, better strength. Now this is kind of close to brazing but it's actually not brazing because there is actually uh, molecular change in welding that brazing does not do. Uh, you're actually mixing of the metals when you're welding where brazing is basically a coating over the top. It is not actually a molecular structure of change. At this time, you will see that I'm doing the repair on the inside of the claw's foot and that uh, I have a vice grip pliers back on the piece. This is to help stabilize it so that the piece isn't rolling around on the table while I'm working on it. I will leave the weld on the inside mostly intact for added strength, so having extra weld on the inside is a good thing. I'll just clean up some of it as we go later on into the cleanup process.
At this point I'm going to take the completed weld repair and put it in fiberglass insulation, wrap it up good and tight, also add extra fiberglass around it which I keep in a milk crate in my garage for whenever I do cast iron weld repairs. You should always use on cast iron the preheat post heat process. Now I will leave it for a day so that it has time to cool off slowly and come back tomorrow and clean up from there. A day or so later, when you have time to remove it from the insulation, you can take it out, clean it all up, use a wire brush, get most of the excess off as the part was hot enough when you put it in that some of the fiberglass actually melts to the part and when you start grinding you don't want that on because it will just be fiberglass in the air that you'll be breathing in. As you watch through this whole process, you will see that I'm starting out here with an angle grinder and a cutoff wheel on it, and I'm actually trying to take the big chunks that are on there off without digging into the base metal of the part. This is a very tedious process as you're working through this, and you must take your time and be gentle as you're doing it. Now to get into the little bit tighter areas, you will use a small air angle grinder with uh, different grits on it. Some of them, I, I start out with a 36 grit and then work towards a 60 or an 80 grit as I want to get it cleaned up a little better. And then I move up to 3M uh, polishing pads, which will make it a little smoother. Now you don't want the final to be too smooth because what happens is uh, cast iron itself is not a real smooth surface so if you're going to just paint it or something if it's too smooth it's going to stick out as being a uh, an odd look a smooth area as compared to the rest of the rough surface here i am using a die grinder with a deburring tool to be able to get into the contours of the material without gouging it out. And then for my final I'll go over it with about a 60 grit sanding disc on the angle grinder again. That way I rough up the surface and give the porcelain or paint a better surface to adhere to. As always, you're going to want to round off the corners and the sharp edges as they tend to be fracture points where the piece will break again at a later date.
Here is the completed bathtub cast iron claws foot. I cleaned up the inside a little bit just to get rid of the excess that was on there, but not too much. That way I left extra strength. And the outside is all cleaned up. From there, the paint or porcelain should fill it up just fine and it should look good. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.